So you probably have been seen that the viewport component if you work on the web builder projects or in a workspace projects. So viewport is an important factor um, in most of the workspace uh, we have been seeing that viewport. So what is a viewport? So viewport is a component that can call a child page or that can help you to create a child page or page collection. So if you see in our UI builder, these are the page we have created called uh, home page, list, list item, record page. And inside the each pages, um, uh, we have multiple components. So in this page, we can also create a sub page and that sub page can be visible under uh, our uh, main page. So that thing we are going to discuss in our today's session. In a high level, what we are going to achieve in our upcoming sessions, you will be able to see that we are going to left side, we are going to create a category and then whenever we will select the category based on the category, we will show that um, all these items. So let's try to build this um, this way. So first I'll go by the simple steps and then we'll go uh, one by one complex scenario. So first I'll create a fresh new page called create new page like a similar page. And this time I'll uh, do that create uh, from the scratch. This time I'll not select any uh, a parameter required. I'll click just um, and then variant will be default variable and we are going to create a simple page. So one of the page called category right now. So this is our category page. Now, if you go back to this our uh, workspace, you will be able to see that one more um, uh, page called category page is created. Now, in the left side, I want to add this category here. So what I'll do, I'll go to this uh, workspace settings. And then here, we'll add one more called category. We'll select that category page. We'll uh, select any of this uh, icon. So for the time being, I'll select and simply save that. So this page is created. Now what we'll do, we'll, and then under this, we'll uh, modify this page. So we'll go to this category page. Now simply I'll add component, okay? So I'll click add component and here I'll add the component. Now, before we add that, if you see that, um, I want to build similar type of component like left side category, right side uh, department services, like right side, I want to show the item. So then I'll select this uh, component layout like this one, okay? So this component layout is added 20, 80%. Now here we'll add our actual component or contents will act here. And then what content I want to add, I want to add a view uh, port. So this is the component we want to add. So we'll simply add our viewport component. Once you added that, you can see that it's showing that uh, no page collection added yet. And if you click add, you will be able to see multiple page collection where you can create the page collection or you can add the page collection. We'll talk a little bit later about page collection, but at that moment, what we'll do, we'll say that replace with viewport. So if you see the top, we can add the page collection and bottom we have options called replace with viewport. So we'll click here and then we'll select that replace with view, uh, view configuration. Once we did that, you can see instead of page collection, it is showing that sub page or you can say that it's a child page. Now you can see that edit content here. So you can click that edit content and then it is saying that uh, I if you want to do edit something, you can go and uh, save and continue this edit part. So because this page is not yet saved. So you can say that save and edit content. And then it's showing the parent screen. What is the parent screen? The parent screen name called default. So this is the parent screen called default. And then under this, we have a, uh, this component, the viewport component will hold the child page. So before we create another page, I want to show you the one nice thing. So let's go back to the left navigation. And here, if you type called now experience, under this now experience, you will be able to see that one module called um, in the top called uh, UX page definition, right? So let's open this UX page definition. So this UX page definition, what it contains, it contains all this page that you have been created. So if I go here and then I, if I search with the created right now, you can see that three minutes ago, a page has been created. And what is the page name called default page? 
default page means that what page so we have created a page here called uh, default page right now um, if i go back here so this is our categories default page so variant name is default so if we simply update that uh, call categories default page okay so, so instead of default because everything is coming as a default default so instead of default page we will change that to category default and click to this editor mode what will be happen our page name is called categories and inside the variant name called categories default page and then if we go to this uh this um uh, page uh definition you will be if i refresh this page right now so you can see that our page name called updated called categories default page so this is means that whenever you created a page from this ui builder uh, that from the back end it's create a ux uh, uh, page definition like you can go to this call here ux page definition from here you will be able to find out that page has been created so let's open this one in this page we have one layout and that is divided by two part and then in this uh, layout we have added one more component called viewport so if i open here so you can see that in this uh, page uh, it's have a name and then it's have a uh, page template type called uh, page and these other stuffs are there so whatever component we have added here all this component viewport component is also here if i search call here called viewport so you can see that viewport one element is added so basically in the back end whatever you do uh, here in this front end through this uh, graphical representation all are stored under here under this um, in a json format go here and then again uh, click this edit content it's land actually a sub page right so it's create a sub page so we'll say that uh, here category content so inside that we are going to add the content so we'll say that category is content so here we are saying that category is content and then we'll click the continue and this time uh, we are going to add one more parameter so we are going to create a child page inside the child page we are going to put uh, a one more parameter so we'll say that add optional parameter call we'll say that uh, id at that moment and click looks good and then this is our default variable uh, so we'll say that category content default page and then we'll simply create so it means that we have created a child page so we have uh, actually uh, categories default parent page and inside that we have categories content child page now if i go back here under this uh, micro component and if i scroll down uh, and click this child screen because if you see that this um, um, our category content default is a child page or you can say the sub page right sub page of what sub page of category default page so this is category default is a parent page so category default is our parent page under that we have a child page called uh, you can see that category content default is our child page so this way you can see that you can relate that um, what's going on or how it is getting created so we have created this way okay so let's go back here so this is our child page and in this child page whatever things we want to do we can do that so let's say if i open this child page here content page so we'll click here and then we'll put the single content here single column and then first we'll add one um, stylized text for the example then configuration none and then here we can say that so this is our content page and if i go back to the our category page so the category page is the parent page so we can go back to our uh, actual category page now you can see it's actually rendering from this child page so if i click here you can see that uh, i am in this uh, viewport content and in this viewport i have one uh, child content called category content default you can see this is called category content default this is our child page and i can create multiple child page and depending on which requirement i can do that so basically this is our parent page called category page and in this category page we have a child page uh, i can create multiple child page actually okay so that's okay so let's uh, um, now if i do that or let's say if i save that it won't actually render that let me show you that so let's refresh here 
And if I click here, you can see it's showing that no content available. So basically it doesn't render our child page. Although we create it, although it is showing right now, but it does not render that content item. So let's say I'm going to create one more content item. So let's say that, Let's say that I'm going to create one more content item called knowledge content item. So we'll say that so we have a uh, category content item default and then uh, knowledge content item. So two page we have, if we go back here to the parent page. So this is our parent page called category default page, parent page. In this page, you can see that two pages are there. So these two pages are there, but um, these two page does not work until I, unless I do additional configuration. If I see that, if I refresh that, nothing is actually rendering. To render that, we had to call something so that which page I want to call. From this parent page, because we have two page, I have to tell that which page I want to call, okay? So let's say that I'm saying that when I page the load when I load the first time I want to uh, render the category content default page okay for that what I'll do I'll go to this body under this body we have an event section and here in the event we can see we can map actually so we'll click that add event and then one of the event name called page ready so whenever the page is loaded I want to do something so I'll click this page ready what I want to run I want to run this or I want to load this viewport component. So we'll click this viewport load and then here actually I had to write some script. So I'll click OK, add. Okay, what I had to write, I had to write this call uh, which page I want to go. So I'll click here, I'll save and continue. So I need this page uh, ID basically. So we'll copy this called category content. So this page ID I needed. Uh, so I'll copy this and then go back to our default page and go to this event and then click here. So here we need to put the route. So where we want to route that. So we want to route or we want to move that or we want to load from this category content. And then here we need to put that viewport ID. So this is the source or you can say that from which content I want to load. So that I had to put that um, viewport element ID also. Okay, so we have defined that. So you can see that we have defined that viewport underscore one and then category content I want to redirect. Let's save and see this is working or not. So we have created this and then we have mapped there. Let's refresh our page here. And you can see it's actually rendering that our content page. So this way you can actually render this view content and now you can define that on which situation, which viewport will be rendered that also you can define. So meanwhile, we have created two pages and then we are saying that I want to run this first page through that uh, viewport load script. So let's understand in a high level what we have done. We have created a new complete new page called categories page. Under this category page, we have uh, added two layout, um, like 20, 80% layout. In this layout, we added called viewport content. In this viewport, we actually created two child pages. One is called category content default page, another called knowledge content item. And although we have seen that after adding this viewport or after creating this child page also, this is not rendering. To render that, we need to call or we need to load through the script. We need to load a one of the event called uh, load UX viewport. Using that, we go to this body and whenever the page is loaded, we are saying that we need to do something. What do we need to do? We need to call this um, call viewport load request and using that, we are saying that this has to be load. Once we have defined there, uh, it's successfully loaded. So this way we actually able to uh, load our viewport. So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know.